Hey y'all, so um, I don't usually go live on my personal page, but um, I wanna go live and talk to you guys about something. Uh, something that I am actually, or have been at times, actually embarrassed to admit to people. And that is that I do direct sales or network marketing as some people may know it. Um, some people may say MLM, which is multi-level marketing, um, but I do direct sales. So here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, hey everyone, feel free to drop a line and say hello. Um, so for a really, really, really long time, um, I was embarrassed to tell people that I did direct sales. So uh, people would ask what I did and for a couple years I would say, hey Morgan, hey Tally. I would say, hey Ray. And I have a child who's refusing sleep right now. So I would say to people, they would ask what I would do and I would kind of sheepishly duck my head down and I would say, you know, I sell leggings and now, you know, I sell nails. Well, what am I embarrassed about? So the statistics are, I looked up some statistics and I posted a statistic yesterday. The statistics are staggering because I'm a numbers girl, right? So they say that 82% of women who make over 100K per year are doing it through direct sales. That is incredible. Um, there are 20 and a half million people as of 2016 currently involved in direct sales and direct sales itself makes up 30 ready for this number 35 and a half billion dollars of retail sales is through that direct sales avenue so why was i so embarrassed to tell people i do direct sales who cares right i was very much raised in that corporate mentality like you go to college you get a degree and you go out in corporate America. Guess what? I worked in corporate America, corporate America, point blank. Some people may love it, but for me, it sucked because I wasn't happy. And listen, if this is any of y'all, be like, just drop a little line. Like, yeah, I feel you girl who work in corporate America. You work in corporate America. You are not happy. You are probably underpaid for the job you are doing. I would guarantee you that you are underpaid for what you are doing, okay? And you feel like you're doing the job of what you're supposed to be doing and possibly the person above you and they're getting all the credit. Corporate America sucks, okay? And I was very much in that corporate mentality. I never thought I would ever do direct sales. And my, if you would ask me a couple years ago what my impression of direct sales was, I'd say, oh my God, it's that person who just keeps harassing me to buy mascara. I would never do that. Um, in all actuality, a lot of direct sales people are not like that. You can drop a, yeah, I feel like yeah, because I think we all know somebody when we post like, oh, I'm breaking out today. There's that one person who will message you and be like, oh, I saw that you were complaining that maybe you had a zit and I have a magical cream for that. Now, if you're watching and you're that person who messages people, please stop, please stop. Because I promise you, if you message me like that, I will be nice the first couple times, but I will say no. And you're not doing yourself any favors. Um, kind of garnering income that way. Don't be that person, just don't. <laughs> um, but I think that there is this, this perceived picture that it's somebody peddling something, um, that when we do direct sales, we don't work hard. And maybe that's true in some cases, but I can promise you, promise you, that I have never worked so hard in my entire life. And I am damn proud of how hard I work. You know what, I do direct sales, and guess what? It supports me and it supports my daughter. I am a single mom and it's me and her. I have to keep the roof over our head, pay all the bills, make sure she's taken care of. And you know what, as far as I'm concerned, however I have to get my hustle on to do it, I'm gonna do it. And point blank, my plan always was, I kind of fell into this niche my plan always was to go back to work when she was like six months old, three or six months old, I would put her in daycare. But I'll be perfectly honest with you, I couldn't afford childcare. I would be working to afford childcare. That's insanity. So direct sales has allowed me and it's evolved into this thing where 
I'm able to support us and she's able to stay home with me. And I can promise you I work harder doing this than I have ever worked in my entire life. People will often mock it and say, oh, you say you run a business. It's not a real business. It's not your business. You know what? It is my business. I have a big team of people underneath me. I look at direct sales. Maybe you don't own the company, but essentially you're like a franchisee, right? You are purchasing, you're buying a kit or you're whatever, buying into a company and you are able to sell it for them. It's basically like your own franchisee and you're in charge of your destiny, right? That's how I look at it. And it's great, maybe it's not, maybe I didn't create the product, okay? But maybe I don't also have the backing to just go and open my own business. I don't, I couldn't go get a small business loan right now. I have no collateral, okay? Would I ha do I have a dream of opening my own cafe? Yeah, do I have a dream of doing this? Yeah, but guess what? It's not a reality right now. But all of you who say that it, you're not owning your own business, no, that's false. I own my own business. I wake up every morning, I make the decision to make calls, make emails, talk to people. I have a team of almost 100 women underneath me, and one guy, um, that I have to keep in contact with and work with. And I'll be honest with you, I work my ass off and I work harder doing this than I have ever worked in my entire life when I worked in corporate America and otherwise. So don't tell me I don't own my own business. I am in charge of my own destiny. If I don't get up and I don't work, guess what? I don't get paid. So they also say, um, they being the Direct Sellers Association, yeah, there really is such a thing. Uh, if you go to dsa.org, you can actually take a look at some numbers if you are a numbers gal like me. So the other thing I will say is that um, in a survey they did last year, over 50% of American consumers said that they will likely purchase a product from somebody who is in direct sales in the next year. 50% of consumers. That is insane. 50% of consumers. And guess what? Remember I told you that big number? It makes up three and a half billion dollars in retail sales. So before you all mock direct sales, whatever it is, um, I sell particular products. Some people sell something different. Some people sell makeup. Some people sell clothing. Some people sell whatever. Before you mock it, realize that these women and men, as the case may be, work hard. That it takes a lot of guts to do what we're doing. Um, in particular, when you're looking at supporting a family, it's insane. Okay. What I think what I do is probably insane. And I mean, it's a whole different animal. It's, it's its own animal. There is no blueprint laid out for you for how to take on direct sales and to be successful at it. There is no blueprint. You create that blueprint for yourself. You create that customer base for yourself. You create that team for yourself. You are going out and you are getting your hustle on and direct sales is like hustle on crack. Um, so no judgment. I am not ashamed of what I do. I work hard to put a roof over my head and I know a lot of people on my friends list can relate to that because they do direct sales in some capacity or another. So the next time that somebody wants to show you their mascara or show you this, instead of just brushing them off and thinking they don't work hard and they're just trying to peddle whatever, think about this, that this might be the way they support their family, that this might be what gets their family you know, a vacation. Maybe they're not doing it in the traditional corporate way, but they're still looking for that same end result that you are. Have a little compassion, have a little sympathy, and hear them out. Doesn't mean you have to buy the product. Um, and remember that those numbers, remember those numbers that I just gave you guys, they're insane. They say that within the next five years, 75% of the population will have tried some avenue of direct sales, some product or whatever, because increasingly more and more, particularly in the millennial set, are looking for that flexibility to be able to choose their working hours, to be able to create their own destiny and to have that freedom. 75%. So my direct sales ladies go out, 
be loud, be proud, go sell your wares. I am super proud of all of you. Even if we don't talk on a regular basis, I see what you're selling, I see you're working at, and I'm super proud of you. I know a good percentage of you I've talked to on the side are considering joining direct sales in some capacity, regardless of what the product is. Um, some of you may be considering it, but not know where to start, and not know really what it's all about. If you guys ever have any questions, um, please feel free to ask me. I will give you a really blunt, honest opinion about whether or not I think it's for you and what it entails. And it doesn't even have to be what I'm selling, okay? I will never push my product on you guys. but. Everyone who's out there working it and working your hustle, you rock on. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you have a great sales weekend. And for those of you who are considering trying your friend's whatever product, do it. Make the $20 purchase or the $10 purchase. Go buy the Tupperware lid. I promise you it will make your friend so happy. It will be a huge boost to morale. And you may fall in love with a product or an industry that you didn't even know was awesome before. So guys, have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to y'all later. Should you feel so inclined, please feel free to share my video with all your direct sales, homies and homegirls. Um, and let's go show them some love guys. Have a great night.